Hello and welcome to class today. In today's lesson, we'll look at cocanese gasification. I was also take a look at other amorphous allotropes of uh, carbon. We already know that uh, carbon has two major forms of allotropes. We have the crystalline and the amorphous form of carbon, which is not considered to be a true allotropes. We are going to concentrate on the amorphous form of carbon and we are beginning with uh, coke today. We know carbon belongs to group 4, period 2 of the periodic uh, table and it has a bit valency of 2 and what? 4. Now, coke, of course, is a very important amorphous of hydrocarbon because of its uh, extensive use. It is prepared by heating bituminous or soft coal to a very what? High temperature in the absence of what? Air, which is what you call destructive what? Distillation of uh, coal, okay? Now, coke is quite different from coal because it contains half, less than half the content of what? Coal. Coal contains more carbon than what? Coke. Coke is very useful, okay? It is used directly as fuel, okay? And it is also used as a reducing agent. A reducing agent will donate electron and become oxidized in the process. Coke is used in the extraction of iron and this process is act as a what? Reducing agent as you can see in the equation. This process gives you to the free metal called iron. Coke is also used for the manufacture of graphite the process which you know to be Atkinson what process in this process coke is subject to a very high temperature okay and the reaction is catalyzed with the help of nickel coke is also used extensively to synthesize certain chemicals like calcium carbide silicon carbide and uh, carbon disulfide these chemicals are very important for example calcium carbide is used in the synthesis of ethylene gas Silicon carbide can be applied when extracting certain metals or in the glass industry. Carbon disulfide can be used to make lilum or cellophane or even rubber. Okay, this is an illustration of the application of silicon carbide in the industry. Okay, let's now take a closer look at gasification of coke. When coke or hot steam is allowed to pass through coke, it produces two gas. Okay. The first is called the water gas or the sink gas. Water gas is a combination of carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Why? Producer gas is a combination of carbon monoxide and sometimes carbon dioxide with what? Nitrogen. Both chemicals are either used as fuel or used in other processes. For example, hydrogen can be used in the upper process. Soot is actually fine particles obtained by burning carbonaceous material in limited supply of what? Air. Charcoal, which is the most familiar one to you, is actually obtained by heating different materials in limited supply of air, depending on the type of what charcoal you want to what obtain. Charcoal is normally used as what for air. it is very important in Nigeria. What you used to roast your corn, is it not? Yes. Wood charcoal is obtained by heating wood in limited supply of what air, which is what you call destructive distillation of what wood sugar charcoal is obtained by dehydrating sugar with a dehydratory agent like sulfuric what acid why animal charcoal is obtained by burning animal fat like a bones of an animal like i said earlier charcoal is very very what useful it is extensively used as fuel in nigeria is it not yes now look at wood wood is just like a coal but the difference is that wood contain more of hydrogen and other uh, substituents than the carbon content. In other words, coal has more carbon content than what? Wood. Destructive distillation of wood yields the following product. First, you obtain wood charcoal. Secondly, you obtain pyroligneous liquid. Third, you have wood tar. And finally, you have wood gas. Now, pyroligneous liquid is a very, very important liquid that can be separated into different organic what compound for example it contains propanol it contains ethanoic acid and it also contains other aromatic hydrocarbon and then it also contains methanol as well which of course is very useful just take a brief view on the coke gasification process again the tube is called coke Coke contains about 60% of carbon. When hot steam is passed over coke, 
carbon in the form of coke reacts with water vapors to form a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen, which is called water gas. It is used in the manufacture of hydrogen gas. Coal gas Coal gas is mainly a mixture of methane along with hydrogen, carbon monoxide and other gaseous hydrocarbons and is used as an industrial fuel. Ammonic liquor is mainly used to manufacture fertilizers. Coal tar is mainly used in the manufacture of dyes, insecticides, medicines, artificial yarn, etc. Welcome back from that lesson. That now brings us to the end of today's lesson. Okay? See you next class. Stay safe.